I wish so. And I, and I truly believe that, yes, because in a way it's, um, it's the biggest challenge of the multi-stakeholder model is to prove that you don't need to get into a situation where things get so extreme that a cyber war disrupts um, economies where people die for attacks that actually uh, impact other people's life and to get into a form of, okay, let's get together. Because we are in a space where by definition, and that goes a bit to what I was saying before, um, the internet is done by all the users and all the users, don't, they, they really are always represented by the government that come together. So going through this way of having government decide what all the set and norms and rules to follow probably won't work here unless you break everything, but then it's too late. So the solution will be, yes, a multi-stakeholder process that um, you can really include all the different views and get into these basic principles to do that. The challenge is a similar challenge to the one that ICANN has, is how to scale it. But then it's where we have to be smart and, and, and look at how internet allows us. I think that the solution is already there, we have to find it. But the, the very same fact that we have a technology that allows us to be connected no matter where we are and, uh, um, and flawlessly across the whole globe, well, it's not something only amazing to post your pictures on Snapchat or Instagram, but also think how, well, how can you evolve, and that's the, the, the trick here, how you can evolve the global governance framework. I wish you put more uh, effort in that. I wish that uh, the next fancy startup won't be a startup that allow you to do, you know, crazy um, editing to your picture, but, you know, a startup will look how to innovate governance, for instance, using the internet. I don't know if venture capitalists will invest into that. Uh, probably, I hope so. But uh, even, even if not, discussions like this one are the, uh, the give a good hope for that.